Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about change in depreciation method. Okay, like for example, as a company, if you are using straight line depreciation method, maybe you are going to, have to shift your depreciation method to the reducing balance method, or maybe if you are using reducing balance method, which is also called declining method, and now you are going to shift to the straight line depreciation method. So if you are IFRS student, Please remember as per IAS 16, IAS 16 requires depreciation method to be reviewed at least annually. It only allows a change in the method of measuring depreciation where this would give a presentation of the entity's financial result and financial position that is more fair. Like you can change only depreciation method if it is gonna to enhance the fairness of the financial statement. Please remember, the change in depreciation method is also treated as change in accounting estimate and it should be applied prospectively not a retrospectively like from the year where you are going to change or where the change has been made so from that period to onward you will follow the new depreciation method okay and please remember the carrying amount which is equal to cost minus accumulated depreciation of the asset at the date of change is written off over the remaining useful life of the asset and how it will work let's have a look with the help of example so here we go for example we have entity l owns machine with originally a cost thirty thousand dollar this is the cost of machine on january 1 year one okay it has no residual value it was being depreciated over its useful life of 10 years on a straight line basis at the end of the year four when preparing the financial statement for year four the entity l decided to change the method of depreciation from straight line to the reducing balance method using a rate of 25 percent so it means in year four you are going to change the depreciation method so first we need to know what is the carrying value at the end of the third year so to calculate the carrying value at the end of the third year so you need to calculate the cost of asset which is thirty thousand dollar and you will subtract here accumulated depreciation and this depreciation you can calculate this way uh, because you don't have any residual value and up to the year three we we were using the straight line method so depreciation expense could be calculated by this way cost of asset which is thirty thousand dollar minus residual value which was zero so divided by useful life which is 10 years okay so it means per year depreciation was three thousand per year per annum so you will multiply with three years so you will get the accumulated depreciation for three years which is thirty thousand dollars so what you will do so thirty thousand was the cost minus accumulated depreciation sorry it is nine thousand okay so what you are going to do so you are going to take a cost of asset minus depreciation accumulated depreciation which is nine thousand so it means this is the carrying value at the end of the year three which is twenty one thousand so when you want to depreciate the asset in year four so you will use this carrying value and you are going to multiply with the 25 percent rate of depreciation to calculate the depreciation expense for year four so here we go they are telling you calculate the depreciation uh, charge for year four. So this is how we can do here. Let's let me show you a format. So first of all, we have a cost on January one year one, which was thirty thousand dollars. Then you have to calculate the depreciation. Okay, cumulative depreciation for years three years from one to three. So total cost was thirty thousand. So you want to calculate depreciation for three years. So you will divide with the total useful life, which is ten years. So you will get the accumulated depreciation for three years. So this is what you will get the carrying value at the end of the year three, which is 21,000. So now in year four, what we will do, so we will take this carrying value, okay, which is 21,000, multiply by depreciation percentage. So this will give you depreciation expense for year four, and we will pass the entry debit depreciation expense in year four, okay, with the value of, five thousand two hundred and fifty dollar and we will credit the accumulated depreciation with the same amount and don't forget this entry you will pass in year four with this depreciation 
Now, if you want to look how your asset will be reflected in the balance sheet in year four. So in year four, what you will do, you will write the cost of the asset. Cost was $30,000 minus accumulated depreciation. Now your accumulated depreciation you have here, 9,000 for the first three years plus 5,200,50. This is for the year uh, four. So you will get here accumulated depreciation, which will be equal to 9,000 plus 5,250. It's going to equal 14,250 dollars. This is your accumulated depreciation, and your carrying value will be equal to. Fifteen thousand seven hundred and fifty. Now, if you want to calculate depreciation for year five, because we we uh, we are going to apply now reducing balance method, which is also called carrying value. So you will use this carrying value again, multiply by depreciation percentage, which is twenty five percent. So you will get that depreciation expense for year five. Again, you have to calculate the carrying value, which will be used to calculate the depreciation for year six. I hope guys, it is clear. So see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.